farsightedness causes objects up close to you to be blurry, while things further away are more in focus. This can make it hard to read, cause eye strain and headaches, and even make all of your vision blurry in extreme cases. I'll break down the causes of farsightedness, what's really happening in a farsighted eye, treatment options, plus ways to prevent farsightedness from occurring in the first place. Farsightedness, or hyperopia, affects about 31% of adults and 5% of kids. It's caused by having eyeballs that are too short from the front of the eye to the retina on the back, or having a cornea that's too flat. The cornea is the front surface of your eye and does a lot of the bending of light into your eye. The lens right behind your cornea finishes bending light to form an image on your retina. The lens changes its shape to shift your focus from things up close to things further away, and it's about the size of an M&M. A large part of whether or not you become farsighted is genetic, so if your parents are farsighted, there's a good chance you will be too. People with some genetic disorders often have a high degree of farsightedness, like people with Down syndrome. Because your eye is too short or just not focusing the light strongly enough, by the time the light reaches your retina, it hasn't quite come to a point of focus yet like it should. This spreading of the light is what makes your vision blurry. Sometimes you can strain your eyes to have your lens focus the light more and correct for this, but that tires out your eyes and can lead to headaches. So the whole purpose of corrective glasses and contacts is to move that point of focus back onto your retina where it should be. Lenses for farsightedness are called positive or plus lenses. They're just like the ones I've been using so far, where they take in light from far away and focus that down to a point, or at least bend it more. So, if your eye is farsighted and you have positive glasses or corrective lenses, you're putting that in front of your eye, which moves up that point of focus. Here though, you can see that this lens I used is too strong. The light is focusing inside of the eyeball. There it's focusing too late outside of the eye. Here it's focusing inside of the eye. But using a less powerful one of these lenses would move that point of focus right onto the retina where it should be. Contact lenses for farsightedness correct in about the same way, helping to bend the light more. You could also potentially have surgery to address farsightedness. For mild cases, laser eye surgery like LASIK can reshape your cornea, correcting your vision. For higher degrees of farsightedness, the natural lens of your eye could be taken out and replaced with an artificial intraocular lens that doesn't have farsightedness, making you basically a cyborg. While those surgeries may be expensive up front, they have very high success rates and then you would no longer have to buy glasses or contacts anymore. In addition to things up close looking blurry, eye strain, and headaches, farsightedness can cause double vision, where you see two images of the world offset from each other, and especially blurry vision at night. Presbyopia is an age-related form of farsightedness that happens because your eye's lens gets less flexible over time. It's a pretty natural part of aging that usually starts around age 40. That's why lots of people need reading glasses as they get older. Thankfully, there are some things you can do to prevent you from becoming farsighted in the first place. Tip number one, eat a healthy diet. Nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and lutein help protect your vision. You can get plenty of these by eating a lot of veggies like leafy greens and fruits like strawberries and grapefruit. You don't have to drown yourself in supplements. Tip number two, get regular eye exams. Your eye doctor can check for eye problems before you even have symptoms, and catching all eye conditions early greatly improves the success of treatment. Tip number three, wear sunglasses when you're outside. Choosing sunglasses that block 99% or more of the sun's ultraviolet radiation really helps protect your eyes. And finally, tip number four, rest your eyes regularly. Looking at a screen for hours can tire your eyes and eventually cause the shape of your eye's lens to get distorted. Being sure to take some regular breaks helps prevent this. Click to watch my previous video about astigmatism, which is the reason lots of people see points of light spread into these lines at night.